Welcome to Historical Timeless Tales. The American Civil War, a pivotal event in the nation's history, was primarily fueled by a combination of complex and interconnected factors. Three key causes stand out, slavery, states' rights, and economic differences. At the core of the conflict was the institution of slavery. The southern states heavily relied on enslaved labor to maintain their agrarian economy particularly in the production of cash crops like cotton and tobacco. In contrast, the northern states were moving towards industrialization and wage labor, leading to differing economic systems and values. The expansion of the United States into western territories brought the issue of slavery to the forefront. Debates arose over whether these new regions should allow slavery or be free. The Missouri Compromise and later the Kansas-Nebraska Act attempted to address this issue, but instead, tensions escalated, culminating in violent clashes. Southern states often argued for states' rights, asserting that they had the authority to nullify federal laws they considered unconstitutional. This conflict between state sovereignty and federal authority created significant tensions. The North favored a stronger federal government that could unify the nation under a single set of laws. Disagreements over states' rights were exacerbated by issues such as tariffs and the balance of power in Congress. Southern states felt that their interests were not adequately represented, leading to feelings of alienation and further division. Economic disparities between the North and South further contributed to the growing divide. The North had embraced industrialization, which brought about urbanization, increased immigration, and advancements in technology. The South, on the other hand, relied heavily on agriculture, especially the plantation system. These differing economic structures led to divergent worldviews and priorities. The North's economy was less dependent on slave labor, which reinforced their stance against slavery. The South's reliance on slavery created a strong resistance to any changes that could threaten their way of life. These causes, interwoven and mutually reinforcing, culminated in a breakdown of compromise and communication between the North and South. The election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860 further escalated tensions, as many Southern states viewed his presidency as a threat to their interests and seceded to form the Confederacy. The American Civil War would test the nation's unity and reshape its destiny, leaving a lasting impact on the course of American history. Abraham Lincoln's leadership during the American Civil War played a critical role in shaping the Union's strategy, preserving the nation, and ultimately leading to the abolition of slavery. As the 16th President of the United States, Lincoln faced unprecedented challenges and demonstrated remarkable leadership qualities throughout the conflict. Lincoln's leadership style was marked by his ability to remain steadfast in the face of adversity, his commitment to preserving the Union, and his skill in navigating complex political and military dynamics. He exhibited a combination of empathy, pragmatism, and strategic thinking that helped him effectively guide the nation through its darkest period. One of Lincoln's most significant actions during the war was the issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. While it didn't immediately free all enslaved individuals, the proclamation declared slaves in Confederate territories to be forever free. This shifted the war's focus from solely preserving the Union to also addressing the issue of slavery, aligning the Union's cause with the moral imperative of ending human bondage. Lincoln's strategic decisions during the war were instrumental in its outcome. He balanced the need for military victories with the preservation of public support and international relations. His patience in selecting effective generals, such as Ulysses S. Grant and William Tecumseh Sherman, eventually helped turn the tide of the war in the Union's favor. Lincoln's eloquence and ability to communicate effectively through speeches like the Gettysburg Address and his second inaugural address played a crucial role in maintaining public morale and fostering a sense of national unity. His speeches not only provided clarity on the war's purpose, but also highlighted the broader principles of freedom and equality. Lincoln navigated complex political challenges, including dealing with a divided Congress and managing the delicate balance between the demands of radical Republicans and more moderate factions. 
his willingness to compromise when necessary while staying true to his core principles helped maintain a united front against the Confederacy. Lincoln's leadership left an indelible mark on American history. His determination to preserve the Union and end slavery paved the way for a more just and unified nation. His tragic assassination in 1865 meant that he didn't witness the war's conclusion and the Reconstruction era that followed, but his vision and leadership continued to guide the nation's path toward healing and progress. Overall, Abraham Lincoln's leadership during the American Civil War demonstrated his ability to lead in times of crisis, make tough decisions, and inspire a nation to overcome profound challenges. His legacy as the great emancipator and his contributions to shaping the modern United States endure to this day. The Battle of Gettysburg, fought from July 1 to 3, 1863, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, stands as one of the most pivotal and decisive moments of the American Civil War. This battle not only marked a turning point in the conflict but also had far-reaching consequences for both the Union and Confederate forces. Gettysburg was a battle that emerged as Confederate General Robert E. Lee's attempt to take the fight to northern soil and alleviate pressure on war-ravaged Virginia. The Union Army of the Potomac, under General George G. Meade, confronted Lee's Army of Northern Virginia, resulting in a fierce and brutal engagement that would reshape the course of the war. The Battle of Gettysburg was marked by its scale and ferocity. Over the course of three days, approximately 165,000 soldiers clashed in combat. The battle resulted in a staggering number of casualties, with both sides suffering heavy losses. The Union had around 23,000 casualties, while the Confederates suffered about 28,000. The battle consisted of several pivotal moments that influenced its outcome. The first day saw intense fighting as Confederate forces attempted to gain control of the town of Gettysburg. On the second day, Union forces held defensive positions along Cemetery Ridge and repelled Confederate assaults. The third day featured the famous Pickett's Charge, a Confederate infantry assault that resulted in heavy casualties and failure. The Battle of Gettysburg ended as a Union victory. General Meade's defensive strategies and the Union soldiers' resilience played a crucial role in fending off Confederate advances. The Union's ability to hold its ground and repel Confederate attacks marked a significant shift in momentum and boosted Union morale. The Union victory at Gettysburg had a profound impact on the war's outcome. It halted General Lee's attempt to carry the war into Northern Territory and gave the Union a much-needed boost in confidence. The battle's outcome energized the Union cause, demonstrating that the Confederacy was not invincible and inspiring a renewed determination to continue the fight. President Abraham Lincoln later delivered the Gettysburg Address at the dedication of the Soldiers' National Cemetery in November, 1863. In his address, Lincoln emphasized the principles of equality and democracy reflecting on the sacrifice of those who fought at Gettysburg and reiterating the Union's commitment to preserving the nation. The Battle of Gettysburg left an enduring legacy as a symbol of sacrifice, courage, and the struggle for freedom. The battlefield itself became a national military park, preserving the historic site and honoring the soldiers who fought there. The battle's significance in the broader context of the Civil War and its impact on American history continue to be studied and remembered to this day. The Emancipation Proclamation, issued by President Abraham Lincoln on January 1, 1863, during the American Civil War, is a landmark document that marked a significant shift in the nation's stance on slavery. While its immediate impact was limited, it laid the groundwork for the eventual abolition of slavery, and had far-reaching consequences for the course of the war and the future of the United States. The primary purpose of the Emancipation Proclamation was to declare the freedom of all enslaved individuals in Confederate territory. It was a strategic military and political move, aimed at undermining the economic and labor infrastructure that supported the Confederate war effort. However, the proclamation did not immediately free all slaves, it applied only to areas under Confederate control, exempting Union states and territories. The issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation marked a shift in the war's aims. While the conflict initially focused on preserving the Union, 
the proclamation expanded the scope to include the moral imperative of ending slavery. This shift aligned the Union's cause with the abolitionist movement and highlighted the broader principles of freedom and equality. The Emancipation Proclamation had a profound moral impact, emphasizing that the Union's struggle was also a fight for human rights and justice. Its issuance resonated with African Americans and abolitionists, who saw it as a step towards the liberation of enslaved individuals. Strategically, the Emancipation Proclamation sought to weaken the Confederacy by undermining its labor force and economic foundation. By offering freedom to slaves who could escape to Union lines, it disrupted the agricultural production and infrastructure that the Confederacy relied on. The proclamation faced criticism from various quarters. Abolitionists felt it did not go far enough, as it did not immediately free all enslaved individuals. Some questioned the legality of the proclamation and its constitutionality, arguing that it exceeded the president's powers. The Emancipation Proclamation laid the groundwork for the eventual abolition of slavery. It demonstrated the federal government's commitment to ending the institution and served as a precursor to the 13th Amendment, which was ratified in 1865 and formally abolished slavery throughout the United States. The Emancipation Proclamation remains a symbol of progress and the ongoing struggle for civil rights and equality. It marked a significant step in the evolution of American society and the gradual dismantling of institutionalized slavery. While its immediate impact was limited, its principles and the broader context of its issuance played a vital role in shaping the nation's trajectory toward a more just and inclusive society. The American Civil War presented a transformative period for women, as they assumed diverse roles that extended beyond traditional domestic spheres. From providing crucial support on the home front to actively participating in the war effort on the battlefields, women's contributions during this tumultuous time were instrumental in shaping the course of the conflict and its aftermath. As men departed for battle, women were left to manage households, farms, and businesses. They took on responsibilities traditionally associated with men, demonstrating resilience and adaptability. Women organized efforts to provide food, clothing, and medical supplies to soldiers, often through organizations like the United States Sanitary Commission and the Confederate Soldiers Aid Society. The Civil War witnessed a significant expansion of women's roles in nursing and medical care. Women like Clara Barton and Dorothea Dix provided vital medical assistance on the battlefield, tending to wounded soldiers and organizing medical supplies. Their efforts laid the groundwork for future advancements in healthcare and nursing. Some women defied societal norms and disguised themselves as men to join the fight on the front lines. These soldier women fought alongside their male counterparts, with some even earning military recognition after their true identities were revealed. Their presence challenged gender expectations and demonstrated women's determination to participate in the war effort. Women played an essential role in gathering and transmitting intelligence. Spies like Rosa Neal Greenhow and Belle Boyd used their social connections and charm to gather information for their respective sides. Their activities helped shape military strategies and provided crucial information to commanders. African American women, both free and enslaved, also played vital roles during the Civil War. They worked as laborious, cooks, and nurses for the Union Army. Many also served as laundresses and support staff, contributing to the functioning of military camps and units. Women's writing and activism took on new importance during the war. Their letters, essays, and speeches disseminated information, rallied support, and influenced public opinion. Prominent figures like Harriet Beecher Stowe and Louisa May Alcott used their platforms to advocate for the abolition of slavery and the rights of women. The Civil War era marked a transformative period for women's roles and rights. The war challenged conventional gender norms and paved the way for advancements in women's education, suffrage, and social mobility. Women's contributions during the war laid a foundation for their continued involvement in social and political movements. The legacy of women's involvement in the Civil War remains an essential part of American history. Their stories highlight the courage, resilience, 
and determination of women who defied societal constraints and contributed to a defining chapter in the nation's development. Their roles underscore the importance of recognizing the multifaceted nature of historical narratives. The American Civil War marked a pivotal moment in the struggle for African American rights and freedom. Enslaved individuals and free African Americans played crucial roles on both sides of the conflict, from serving in the military to shaping the war's broader social and political impact. At the outbreak of the war, African Americans were initially barred from serving in the Union Army. However, as the need for manpower increased, the Union began to recruit African American soldiers. The Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 further opened the door for their enlistment. The establishment of the United States Colored Troops, USCT, regiments marked a significant development. African American soldiers faced discrimination and unequal pay compared to their white counterparts, but their contributions on the battlefield shattered stereotypes and proved their valor. African-American soldiers participated in numerous battles, including the Battle of Fort Wagner, where the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment gained recognition for its courage and sacrifice. These soldiers demonstrated their commitment to the Union cause and their determination to prove their worth on the battlefield. African-Americans also served as spies, scouts, and guides for the Union Army. Their knowledge of the terrain and local communities was invaluable in gathering intelligence and planning military operations. African Americans faced complex choices in Confederate territory. Some worked in support roles for the Confederate Army, while others seized opportunities to escape bondage by fleeing to Union lines. Their stories highlight the tensions between loyalty to the Confederacy and the desire for freedom. The contributions of African American soldiers challenged prevailing racial attitudes and helped change perceptions. Their bravery and sacrifice played a role in shifting public opinion and influenced debates about the role of African Americans in society. The service of African American soldiers furthered the cause of emancipation and contributed to the broader goal of securing full citizenship rights. Their dedication highlighted the contradiction of fighting for freedom abroad while facing oppression at home. The participation of African Americans in the Civil War left a lasting legacy. The war's end marked a significant milestone in the abolition of slavery, but the struggle for equality and civil rights continued through Reconstruction and beyond. The contributions of African Americans in the Civil War, both on and off the battlefield, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's trajectory. Their resilience and sacrifices paved the way for progress and set the stage for ongoing efforts to achieve social justice and equality. American Civil War witnessed the implementation of various military strategies that shaped the course of the conflict, and left a lasting impact on the evolution of modern warfare. From innovative tactics to the use of new technologies, the strategies employed by both Union and Confederate forces were instrumental in determining the outcomes of battles and campaigns. At the beginning of the war, military tactics were influenced by Napoleonic warfare principles, with infantry formations and linear tactics dominating the battlefield. Soldiers lined up in neat rows to engage in musket fire, often resulting in high casualty rates. However, as the war progressed, commanders began to adapt to the changing nature of warfare. Generals on both sides began to embrace maneuver warfare, seeking to outflank and encircle their opponents rather than relying solely on frontal assaults. This shift was evident in battles like Chancellorsville, where Confederate General Robert E. Lee used aggressive flanking maneuvers to defeat larger Union forces. As battles grew larger and more lethal, commanders recognized the importance of defensive strategies. Both sides constructed fortified positions, such as trenches and earthworks, to protect their troops from enemy fire. The Battle of Fredericksburg demonstrated the effectiveness of defensive tactics when Confederate forces held strong positions against Union assaults. Guerrilla warfare also played a role, especially in areas with divided loyalties. Partisan fighters, often irregular forces, engaged in hit-and-run attacks and ambushes. Confederate cavalry leader John Mosby became known for his effective use of guerrilla tactics against Union forces. 
the Civil War was a transitional period in terms of military technology. The introduction of rifled muskets increased accuracy and range, changing the dynamics of infantry engagements. Both sides also experimented with ironclad warships, like the USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia, marking a new era in naval warfare. Advancements in communication and reconnaissance played a significant role. Telegraph lines allowed commanders to coordinate movements and receive real-time information. The effective use of hot air balloons for observation provided valuable intelligence on enemy positions. The Civil War witnessed the widespread use of railroads to transport troops and supplies. Railroads enabled rapid movement of forces to strategic locations, changing the speed and scale of military operations. The military strategies employed during the Civil War laid the groundwork for future developments in modern warfare. The lessons learned, both in terms of effective tactics and the use of technology, would influence subsequent conflicts and the evolution of military doctrine. The war's evolution from traditional linear tactics to more flexible and maneuver-oriented approaches marked a significant shift in military thinking. It highlighted the importance of adapting strategies to the changing nature of warfare and utilizing new technologies effectively. Overall, the American Civil War demonstrated the complexity and innovation that arise in times of conflict. The strategies employed during the war, whether successful or not, contributed to shaping the trajectory of military thought and paved the way for advancements in subsequent conflicts. The American Civil War had profound economic implications for both the North and the South. The conflict disrupted existing economic systems, reshaped industries, and left a lasting imprint on the nation's economic landscape. From agricultural shifts to changes in labor and industrialization, the war's economic impact reverberated long after its conclusion. The Southern economy heavily relied on agriculture, particularly cotton production fueled by slave labor. The war disrupted this system, as many slaves fled to Union lines or were emancipated. The loss of labor and the destruction of infrastructure had a devastating effect on the South's ability to produce and export goods. The Union's naval blockade of southern ports severely limited the South's ability to export cotton and other commodities. This blockade contributed to inflation and shortages in the Confederacy, as well as reduced revenue from exports. The North, with its more diverse economy and industrial base, was better positioned to weather the economic challenges of the war. The war effort fueled increased demand for manufactured goods, from weapons and uniforms to machinery and supplies. Both sides financed the war through government borrowing and the issuance of paper currency. The Confederate government, lacking the industrial infrastructure of the North, struggled to finance its efforts leading to hyperinflation and economic instability. The Civil War spurred technological advancements, from improved firearms to medical innovations. These advancements, while born out of necessity, had long-lasting effects on various industries. The war displaced millions of people, leading to labor shortages in agriculture and other industries. This disruption contributed to shifts in labor patterns and migration as people sought new economic opportunities. The war had a transformative impact on transportation infrastructure. The need to move troops and supplies quickly led to the expansion of railroads and improvements in transportation networks, setting the stage for post-war economic growth. The economic challenges did not end with the war's conclusion. The period of Reconstruction aimed to rebuild the Southern economy and society, but the process was fraught with challenges and complexities. The economic impact of the Civil War left a lasting imprint on the nation. The war accelerated trends toward industrialization and urbanization, transforming the economic landscape. It also set the stage for debates over economic policies, labor rights, and the role of government in the economy. The American Civil War disrupted existing economic systems, led to innovation, and shaped the trajectory of economic development in the years to come. The war's economic aftermath was as complex as its military and political implications, leaving a legacy that continues to influence the nation's economy and society. The Reconstruction Era, 
which followed the American Civil War from 1865 to 1877, was a period of profound social, political, and economic transformation in the United States. As the nation grappled with the aftermath of war and the challenges of integrating formerly enslaved individuals into society, Reconstruction efforts aimed to rebuild the South and redefine the meaning of freedom and citizenship. Reconstruction initially took two main approaches. President Abraham Lincoln favored a lenient policy that aimed to quickly restore the southern states to the Union with minimal punishment. However, after Lincoln's assassination, his successor, President Andrew Johnson, faced clashes with radical Republicans in Congress who sought more stringent measures to secure civil rights for African Americans. The establishment of the Freedmen's Bureau was a critical step in providing support to formerly enslaved individuals and helping them transition to freedom. It provided education, medical care, and assistance in securing employment. The Civil Rights Act of 1866 sought to ensure equal rights for all citizens, regardless of race. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments were introduced during Reconstruction to address the issues of slavery, citizenship, and suffrage. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery, the 14th granted citizenship and equal protection under the law, and the 15th prohibited racial discrimination in voting. Congressional Republicans took a more radical approach to Reconstruction, advocating for the enforcement of civil rights for African Americans, and the establishment of military districts in the South to oversee the transition. The South's implementation of black codes, which sought to restrict the rights of freedmen, fueled these efforts. Resistance to Reconstruction was fierce, with many white Southerners opposing efforts to integrate African Americans into society and politics. The rise of white supremacist groups like the Ku Klux Klan led to violence and intimidation against African Americans, and their white allies. President Andrew Johnson's conflicts with Congress over Reconstruction policies culminated in his impeachment. While he ultimately remained in office, his clashes with Congress underscored the broader tensions of the era. As the 1870s progressed, political will for Reconstruction waned. Economic challenges, corruption, and a desire to move on from the divisive issues of the war led to the eventual withdrawal of federal troops from the South, and the abandonment of some Reconstruction efforts. Despite its challenges and shortcomings, the Reconstruction era had a lasting impact. The amendments and policies introduced during this period set the stage for future civil rights movements and the pursuit of equality. The era's debates over the role of the federal government, the rights of citizens, and the legacy of slavery continue to resonate in discussions of American identity and democracy. The American Civil War, a conflict that was primarily domestic in nature, nevertheless had reverberations on the international stage. The war's impact extended beyond American borders, influencing diplomatic relations, trade, and perceptions of the United States in the eyes of the world. Various nations reacted differently to the conflict, contributing to the war's complexity and shaping its outcomes. The Civil War had implications for diplomatic relations between the United States and other countries. European powers such as Britain and France adopted a policy of neutrality, though they closely observed the war's progress. The Trent Affair, involving the seizure of a British ship, and the potential recognition of the Confederacy by European nations raised diplomatic tensions. The southern states, heavily reliant on cotton exports, hoped that their cotton trade would encourage British and French support for the Confederacy. However, the success of cotton diplomacy was limited, as Europe found alternative sources for cotton, and European leaders hesitated to intervene in the conflict. While public sentiment in Britain and France often leaned toward the Confederacy due to economic interests, political leaders ultimately refrained from intervening. The Emancipation Proclamation made it difficult for European powers to openly support a cause aligned with slavery. The war captivated global public opinion, with newspapers and media outlets around the world covering the conflict extensively. The horrors of war, the issues of slavery, and the principles of democracy were topics of discussion and debate in international media. The war disrupted global trade, affecting countries that relied on American imports and exports. 
the loss of southern cotton exports led to economic challenges for some countries, while others adapted by seeking alternative suppliers. The Civil War inspired movements for liberty and democracy in other parts of the world. The war's focus on principles of freedom and equality resonated with various nations grappling with similar issues of oppression and injustice. The war had implications for immigration to the United States. Many Irish and German immigrants were affected by the conflict, with some choosing to fight in the war while others faced hostility due to their perceived connections to the North or the South. The international perspectives on the American Civil War highlighted the global interconnectedness of political and economic forces. The war's moral dimensions, such as the fight against slavery, contributed to discussions about human rights and influenced other nations' policies and actions. The global interest in the Civil War prompted discussions about the viability of democratic governance and the meaning of freedom in a rapidly changing world. The war's outcome and the preservation of the Union reaffirmed the United States' place as a democratic nation, influencing the course of international political thought. In summary, the American Civil War's impact extended beyond American borders, influencing global diplomacy, trade, and discussions about democracy and human rights. The conflict's legacy continues to serve as a reminder of the complex interplay between domestic events and the broader international context.